Okay, I'm starting with these speckled trout here, man. This is like one of my all-time favorite fish. I love catching these. They will give you a heck of a fight. I think I'm drawing the flies out here. That's all right. I'm gonna eat them before they get a chance to. All right, that's first process. They've already been gutted here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scale these, and I'll be back to show you how to fillet them. All right, I've gotten this side scale free. A lot of people, when they fillet them, they'll fillet them the way I'm going to show you here, and then they'll turn around and, and uh, cut the skin off. I always problem with the skin on. I kind of like that. That's the reason I scale them anyway. I'm following this backbone as a guide. Just like that. Your knife should go through very easily. If you feel it gets snagged up, that means you're going through a bone. Just adjust your knife. Alright, that's a nice fillet. Alright, I want these fillets bone free. So what I will do now is I'll find these lung bones right across here. Right, that's the belly. I usually cut the belly and the uh, lung bones out. I'll start an incision right about here. Just like that. And I'll discard this piece. All right, now what a lot of people do, they'll take this backbone after they uh, cut their fillets off. They'll remove the head and they'll fry these also because there's a lot of meat still left in there but you do have to pick through the bones. Alright these are pretty good size fillets so I'm going to cut them in half and that will be a portion. That will be a portion and so on. Alright I've got more of these to do so we'll be back. Okay I got about three pounds of these nice looking gulf shrimp here. These are white shrimp. What I'm going to do to every one of these is I'm going to peel them back where the tail section is. I'm only the tail intact. That's the way we normally do our fried shrimp here. Just like that. All right, then I'm going to butterfly these and devein them. I'm going to slice them to the tail section. After I get them all done, I'll take them inside and wash them out, wash these veins out. But that's what you want it to look like right there. All right, I'm going to get the rest of these done. We'll be back. Okay, this is the orifice part of the deep fryer. That's where you would light it, and from there, it would create hot air that will uh, be forced through this square tubing here. That is your heat source. That's what will heat the oil up. And from there, it will vent right here out of this pipe. This particular unit also has a V bottom, which allows all the crumbs to collect in the bottom well below the heat source which will prevent it from burning. All right, here is a valve with a hose attached to it. I will be able to drain this oil out and uh, as I do so, I will be letting it filter through like a uh, coffee filter or whatnot. Any of you that seen me do fries in the past uh, know that I have to cook these for two minutes and then they go in the freezer. They just come out of a sugar bath. If you're curious about that, look at one of my other videos like the uh, queso blanca fries video. I'm going to go ahead and lay these in the oil get these frying. We're going to go for two minutes. We're going to take them off. We're going to drain them. We're going to put them in the freezer for around 20 to 30 minutes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the gas off because uh, I'm not quite ready to start cooking all this seafood. All right, these went for two minutes at 350 degrees. I tell you what, I'm super impressed with this thing, man. It gets up to 350, I mean like quick, four gallons in five minutes. I could probably do it in less time than that, but I was being a little moderate there. At any rate, I'm gonna let these drain off, put them on some paper towels, then I'm gonna stack them on a rack, put them in the freezer for around 20 to 30 minutes. By that time, we should be ready to get uh, all this other food going. Okay, here. with seafood platters down here, you gotta have hush puppies. What I have here is three three quarter cup of buttermilk and two eggs. I'm just gonna mix those in real good. All right, now here's the seasoning. I got one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder. I have a quarter teaspoon of sea salt and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Gonna mix that in. Now I have about this many green onions. That's probably about three tablespoons. 
two and a half, three tablespoons. Yep, believe it or not, Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix makes the best hush puppies. One box. All right, I'm gonna mix all this in good. All right, I'm getting ready to fire up the deep fryer and we're gonna make hush puppies here in just a few minutes. All right, the hush puppies are done. I just took these fries back out of the freezer. They're uh, they're not frozen, but they're really cold and they're ready to go back in. I'm at 350 degrees. I just barely got the heat going on this and it's maintaining 350 degrees. These cold fries is gonna cool it off a little bit, but it'll pick right back up. Seems to be doing good. All right, I got these fish fillets going on that I uh, cleaned earlier. All I'm doing is putting them in a corn flour. This is actually Zatarain's fish fry. And yeah, that's some good stuff. You know, I, I like doing my shrimp and everything like in self-rising flour, but when it comes to fish, you really can't beat this pre-boxed corn flour that's already been seasoned. I don't even attempt to improve on it. It's just good just the way it is. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the rest of these done here. Getting ready to pop them in the deep fryer. We're going to go from there. Alright, we're going to go ahead and drain this first batch and get ready to put our second batch of fish on. What I got here is I got 50% milk, 50% buttermilk and Cajun seasoning. Over here I have all, I mean I'm sorry, this is very important too. This is uh, self-rising flour. And I also have Cajun seasonings mixed in with that as well. And all you want to do is simply take your shrimp. You want to lightly flour it just like that. Knock off the excess. I'm going to put them in this bowl. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these done. I'll meet you back at the deep fryer. Just want to cook them to their golden brown. Now we got some scallops going in. And I'm going to lay my crab cakes in here and get them going. Alright, last but not least, fried oysters. Let's give it a try here so we got shrimp turned out beautiful. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. I hadn't had that in a while. With this, I'm drinking an Abita. Mardi Gras Bach beer, compliments of Sal over there at Root Boy Slim. Go over there and check Root Boy out. Alright, until next time, smoke your ribs.